Hi, in this video, we're going to compare a folded horn with a high shelf filter. We need this Excel file whose link is available in the description, Akabox software, and the driver specs. Let's go ahead and get started. You can watch this series to learn more about the design process. Enter all the required information in the Excel file. It calculates all the points and the parts you need. Search this term for turning cubic feet into liters. Enter the value of this cell in another. The side view of the transmission line. Now it's time for the Akabox simulation. As in the previous videos, the cone diameter is twice its radius. Keep this value in your mind. If the hole height is 5, this section or the cone height is about 2. The cone height is about 2 and the voice coil diameter is 2.5 or 1 inch. TD1 is a bit less than the cone height, and the dust cap width, or DD1, is a bit more than the voice coil diameter. Do the same for the front cone. Now click on LEM tab and do these steps. Pay attention that you don't need to enter all the specs. The marked parameters are enough. The next step is to use the Excel file, software worksheet, and start a copy-paste process. You can watch this series to learn about it. If you don't want to watch just do all these steps while watching this video, only copy every part and paste it into its related section.
After doing all the steps, it's time to compare the results of a high shelf filter, which was explained in the previous video, and a folded horn. As can be seen, the folded horn compensates for the baffle loss, but it contains nulls. The high shelf filter reduces the high frequencies and corrects the baffle loss, but the resulting response is 6 dB lower the original response of the driver while the folded horn for a single full range driver doesn't need any filter, and its response is not lower than the original response of the driver. Original response means the response measured on an infinite baffle. Thanks for watching.